Well, happy Monday. Monday means chest day for me. I like to start off the week with uh, my favorite muscle group exercise and probably the first time I've ever done weather while doing that. But hey, we're talking about the rain over the weekend. Are we out of the woods as far as the deficit? Some are, some are not. And also we're talking about that delayed warm up and the 40th anniversary of the Mount St. Helens eruption. Volcanoes spew out a lot of carbon dioxide, but just how does that compare to what humans are putting into the atmosphere? So we did get uh, obviously a lot of rain. We talked a little bit about yesterday and uh, several people had a good question in terms of uh, who exactly saw their deficit wiped away in the Twin Cities. We did officially. So here's a recap of rain from the Midwest Regional Climate Center uh, going back uh, a day ago. You got to add these together. So this is uh, Saturday and then Sunday's rain, obviously shifting eastwards. So we did pick up quite a bit of rainfall, of course. And several of you asked about... Uh, exactly where that landed and, and how it compared with the models. And the American model actually did a pretty good job. So this is uh, from the National Weather Service, sort of an overview of how much rain fell. We saw a lot of three inch amounts in the Twin Cities. And yeah, the American model, if we look at it on top compared to what actually happened, did pretty good. Uh, and if anything, it underestimated some of the rainfall amounts, which is pretty crazy. Um, and in terms of what it's done for our deficit, yeah, the Twin Cities, we are out of the woods as far as deficit goes. We were actually slightly above normal for our 90-day rainfall, which is really what's important, what's happened since March for our growing season. But you can see northern Minnesota, it is a different story there. Uh, definitely seeing some dry conditions up there yet. So uh, still in the clouds today. That's leftover moisture because we had so much rain in this stubborn low is just slowly going to move out of here. We talked about it yesterday. It is what we call a cutoff low, which means it's literally cut off from the atmosphere. But, you know, places like St. Cloud have been seeing um, the sunshine. And that's why it's almost 70 there, 70s in western Minnesota. But, yeah, probably won't reach 70 in the Twin Cities because of the edge of that cloud line. You can see it's all moving from east to west, which is indicative that we are on the backside of that slow moving low still. So as far as tomorrow, if you're hoping for some sun, I think we could see some peaks of sun. Here's the rest of the day. Again, we stay on the edge of the clouds. And then tomorrow morning, it's again, similar thing. We're on the edge of the clouds. But Wednesday, looks like that cloud uh, bank shifts to the west. So we're hoping for some sunshine on Wednesday. And that's going to really help to start to warm things up. And you can see the European model bringing back in those warmer than normal temperatures still. Mid to late week, it is looking considerably warmer for us. In fact, uh, with that sun, it's going to help warm things up. Still looking at 80 degree temperatures by the time we head towards the end of the week. Next chance of a little rain. Uh, looks like some showers or some thunderstorms late Friday and then maybe some scattered storms Sunday. There's a possibility we could see a little bit on Saturday, but I do think it's going to stay mainly dry in the Twin Cities at least, but uh, we'll keep our eye on that, of course, through the week. Wanted to talk about an important anniversary today. It's the 40th anniversary of the Mount St. Helens eruption. Uh, it started erupting or showing signs of eruptions, I should say, in March of 1980 and uh, started to blow a nine hour eruption, explosive, one of the bigger ones of modern time on May 18th. That was 1980. And of course it buried a large area under ash, but some interesting stats uh, to put in perspective, uh, the amount of carbon dioxide we are pumping into the atmosphere uh, from human caused activity, the amount of uh, carbon dioxide was about 10 million tons in nine hours. We do four times that amount in nine hours from human caused activity. So that definitely puts some perspective. Uh, in case you're wondering, Mount Pinatumbo was a bigger eruption in the early 90s, and that actually cooled the planet a little bit, measurably so. It was about 50 million tons. So, little perspective there on volcanoes, carbon dioxide and some climate change and speaking of which it's been very warm in the arctic continues to be very warm there and until that pattern switches a little which again we are expecting it to do this week that's when we'll start to see uh some warmer air for us that's still on the way slowly but surely